Okay, I'm really excited about this conversation. Utah is home to a wide variety of wildlife. We know that, but there might be some that you're surprised to know live and thrive in our state. So here to tell us more about them is Kim Hersey from the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. I think this is so interesting because there's a long list of animals that are that call Utah home we don't know about, but we're gonna talk about three. Okay. So first, the flying squirrel is real, right? It's real. Okay, you know, tell us about it. Not just Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, it's a, a squirrel that lives up in the pine forest area of the okay. state, primarily. And they don't actually fly. They glide through the treetops and uh, eat fungus and all sorts of different things like that, nuts and plants, and just amazing gliders. They, you know, usually around 65 feet per glide, but they can actually glide up to the length of a football field. Wow. So this tiny little critter should just zooming through the treetops. So it might look like flying, but they're just kind of jumping and soaring through spots. They are. It's more like a wingsuit that a person might wear. There's a, a stretch of skin from their front foot to their hind foot called the patagium, and uh -huh. that's what they reach out and glide with. Oh, I think that's so fascinating. And they're really cute, too. Now, Adorable. Down to the pika. Not like Pikachu, but kind of. Kind of. Okay. Uh, pika is a, a rabbit relative that lives in the high mountains. And they're actually fairly easy to find if mm -hmm. you go to the big talus or boulder fields around lakes up in the mountains and listen sort of for an eep eep call. Okay. You often see them scurrying along the edges, sometimes holding flowers in their mouth, storing it away for the winter. So just an adorable little mammal who who lives up in the high mountains. and He is kind of cute. We're seeing <laughs> pictures of him right now. It kind of looks like a cross between a mouse and a rabbit a little bit. Exactly. And that was up at Red Pine Lake. So get up in the Wasatch, the Uintas, LaSalle's, Tushers, and you're likely to find them. I love that. Okay, finally, river otters, which we see at some of our aquariums and zoos, but you can see them here in our own backyard as well. Exactly. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, they were wiped out across much of the continental U.S., but it's a conservation success story in that they've been uh, reintroduced into much of their historical range, including Utah. Okay. Uh, they were brought back to the Green River in 1989, and, and you can find them through Green River, the Flaming Gorge, the Colorado River. About 10 years ago, we brought them back to the Provo River. So if you're out there fishing, you might see one of them uh, scurrying along the riverbanks. I love it. And kind of what do river otters do? Are they building dams? Am I, am I right there? Kind of what, is, what do they do around the river? Uh, mostly they're just, they'll use beaver dams. Okay. Uh, but they're fish eaters, uh -huh. so they're eating primarily fish and crayfish. They're really playful animals. Sometimes you'll see them in groups sort of sliding along the banks, wrestling. Uh, just really fun to see if you get the chance. I love that. Okay, so three animals you might not know are here in Utah, but you most definitely can check them out. A really great thing is if we go to your website, you've got resources for all of these animals, right? Exactly. Wildlife.utah.gov has a lot of more information on all the animals found in the state. Which I love because if you're going to go somewhere, you need to have some knowledge before you go and then you can best enjoy all that Utah has to offer. We'll get you to that website from ours, abc4.com forward slash GMU. Kim, thanks so much. We appreciate all you do for us. Thank you. Have a great day. Back